Jets are always, always ready to make a splash move in free agency. They, they do it every single year without fail. And sometimes there can be some cases where they make a surprising move that some people really didn't see coming. And I speak for myself when I say I did not see CJ Uzama headed to New York at all. If you would have asked me earlier today before free agency started, if you would have asked me after free agency started, if you would have asked me yesterday, last week, last month, I would have said I am 99.99999% sure CJ Uzama is returning to the Bengals. Why would they let him leave? I mean, he had a good season last year. He had a big impact on the team. He did get injured during the playoffs, but CJ Uzama, he was a nice tight end for them. But then I looked at the history and I didn't, I didn't even know he, was, he had been there since 2015. And last year was his best year. Of course, uh, things opened up for him big time, and he stayed healthy. Uh, he had a Jamar Chase, a Tyler Boyd, a T. Higgins, a Joe Mixon, and Joe Burrow. He had so many weapons. Um, but everything, like, a lot of people focus on those other guys. So that helped him eat. And even when people focus on him, he still ate a lot of times. Um, but when you look at his numbers throughout the course of his career with the Bengals, um, it's nothing to where it's like, oh, man, we can't replace that production. And that's, of course, not a shot at him at all. But more so, it makes, it makes sense as to why the Bengals were like, all right, CJ, we love you, but we'll love you from afar, and we'll let you go spread your wings. And you got to feel like if the Bengals did offer something to CJ Uzama, then it wasn't what the Jets were willing to offer him. Uh, he signed a three-year, $24 million deal, so that's eight mil per. So not bad. Not bad. Um, and because, again, go, just to go over his numbers really quick. So in 2015, he had one catch for four yards. You can scratch that. Then next year, he had 25 catches for 234 yards. Um, his best season before last season came in 2018, where he had 43 catches for 439 yards and three touchdowns. Um, but then this year, he had 49 catches for 493 yards and five touchdowns. Um, so this was his best season ever, and it was 49 catches for 500 yards and five touchdowns. Not bad. It's not bad, especially when you think about all the other playmakers that they had on that offense, especially at wide receiver. But it's not anything that you would look at and be like, ah, oh, man, how are we going to replace that? Oh, man, how are we going to match that? Because the, there's a lot of tight ends out there, and you can go through free agency. They got a lot of quality tight ends that the Bengals could pick up, or you could go through the draft. They got a lot of tight ends that they could replace him with that way too. Now with the Jets, Zach Wilson, um, going into what his yeah, this is his second year uh, with the Jets, and he gets another weapon. Last year, uh, the Jets oh, they signed uh, Corey Davis. That was their uh, their big pickup last season, and now it's C.J. Uzama. So we'll see how the Jets, if, if, if they can start making some moves to sort of change the trajectory of the team, um, who knows where they're headed. But this is somebody that's going to hopefully get them on the right track uh, at tight end. So we'll see how it works out. A very, like I said, interesting move, but a move that I, I did not see coming because I just for sure, I thought CJ Uzama was going to end up staying uh, with the Jets. And now it's also been said that the Jets... They could also be working on something else, too. They said that they are, as far as the Jets and tight end, that they may not be stopping uh, there. So we'll see what else those Jets do because, you know, <laughs> you know, they got plenty of cap space for it. So anyway, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We out.